We don't know where she is. Uh, she's got a mobile and a GPS unit like we do. Tell him we have problems with ours as well. I don't know. Uh, she was slowing down, but we thought she was there and... And there's something else. She's diabetic. Anna Rintelin is at base camp. I presume they're calling her mobile. There's little to no network coverage down there. And her friend's on high ground at checkpoint three. How are we going to handle this? The weather's closing in really fast. If we don't move quickly, the poor girl's going to be out all night and without her insulin. Right. Okay. I'm not sure what to do. this new specialist government department they're putting together? MSI, Math Scene Investigation. Hello? You're from MSI. Uh, my name is Gulab Mistry and this is my assistant. I thought you said time was imperative. Yes, it is. Then I suggest we don't waste time with pleasantries. For the record, the name's Law. Newton Law. Newton Law. Tried the basics. Well, we have uh, initiated the rescue protocol. The weather conditions are good at the moment, but there's a storm front approaching. We have a girl lost in the woods. She's diabetic, she's got no insulin, and her mobile phone doesn't appear to be working. A diabetic in the woods without her insulin? A bit irresponsible, isn't it? Look, Newton, we need your help. She needs your help. Well then, let's be calculating about this. You told me this girl has a GPS system about her person. She does know how to use it. Well, it's a standard issue for this kind of expedition, but uh, I presume... You presume? Well... I'm not sure how a GPS unit works either. Her GPS unit will pick up signals from several satellites and use the nanosecond time differences to measure how far away each satellite is. So you only need to know their orbits to pinpoint where you are. That's pretty simple then. Ah, you've forgotten one vital ingredient. What's that then? You've forgotten the maths. Satellites have onboard clocks that tick 38 microseconds faster than identical clocks on Earth. Why? A theory called relativity. An orbiting atomic clock loses 7 microseconds a day because of special relativity and, in contrast, actually gains 45 microseconds by general relativity. This is because the gravity of the Earth distorts the structure of space-time. So the clocks have to be adjusted by 38 microseconds every 24 hours. So from the current satellite position, she should be getting at least four strong signals. Those microwave signals, however, can't penetrate overhead obstacles. Which means she is probably in a heavy wooded area. We don't know if she is still alive. Her last message was too garbled to make any sense. Thank God. At least we know she's alive. But we still don't know where she is. We have all the information here. Now for Zifansi maths. As you can see from the map, there are three phone masts serving this area where she is lost. These mountains block the signals from the transmitters and cast shadows with no reception. Where the three shadows overlap is out of reach of all three masts, this small area here. And only this tiny section of it is heavily wooded. This is exactly where she must be. Veronica, alert mountain rescue with the coordinates. Beth, she's over here. They found her. 
Well, I have to admit, Matt saved the day.